Hey kids, Ben here. Want to go on a store tour? Yeah, you do. Because not everybody gets to go to a music store lately, you know. So we're at the uh, Belleville location along the Quaid. I'm going to turn the camera around. Let's get started. All right. So here we are at the front entrance. Ooh. Please read. That's right. We're being precautious here. Okay, so it's a little hand sanitizer. Sorry for the shaky camera work as I sanitize the hand dealer area. So over to the left, we have all those fancy instruments that, you know, none of us guitar pickers really know what to do with. Although, if I was playing bass for the Stray Cats, I might want one of those. This is the lesson area. And then look at this wall of guitars, guys. And gals. We've got amps, we've got guitars. We're gonna go up and down the aisles and check this out. So let's see, can I get four rows in at once? Oh yeah. All right. We have Gibsons, we have Epiphones, we have Fenders here. I move around to avoid tripping over stools. We got some Gretches, Ibanezes, and the basses. All right, let's see what they got for amps. Ooh, Hughes and Kentonals, some Voxes, some Fenders. Getting into Marshall territory. Go figure, we're headed east. East from California is England. All right, let's go back a step. Got some used gear in here, including, oh yeah. Look at this. That's not a bad price, Canadian folks. For a 68, this is my first amp, it's one of these. I missed that amp. Twin reverb. And a Mepiphone. The Roland Jazz Chorus 22. Line 6. Another line 6. Ooh. Nice little mess of boogie. Here we got an Ampeg fridge on the end. Actually, it's a trainer fridge on the end, I believe. I'm not gonna lie, we got some cool used gear in here. Super Beetle! Over here we have some pedals. Most of them in as I can here. You know? A lot of used pedals in here. A lot of used gear in general in this location, I will say. And an empty rack. Why are you showing that, Ben? Well, for uh, health concerns, once you try a guitar, you place it in the end rack so they can. Uh, clean it and disinfect it and such. More pedals on this other side here. Ooh, yeah. Look at like quite the selection here. Some wireless units. Some more amps. Let's check out those big amps that we saw from behind before. Ooh, Galen Kruger for all our bass playing friends. Oh, and a classic for some more bass playing friends. That, folks, right there is when we refer to the Ampeg fridge. Right there. 
awesome. All right, I'll just scoot back here. This is the acoustic room. Apparently they want you to be really clean in the acoustic room. All right, so one end. They carry some acoustic amps in here as well. There's your Epiphone contingents. Geez, that one looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? Mark Taft is going, hey, that looks familiar. Because Mark owns my old Epiphone. Denver. I've never heard of Denver. Some tax. Some Simon and Patrick, Gibson, Taylors. And of course some Martins, because you can't really have an acoustic room without some Martins in it. Ooh, oh, some LR bags effects. So if you're an acoustic player that likes still likes to using a pedal board, you know I know there's some of you out there. All right, back onto the main showroom. We got some cajones, some of those greasy drummer accessories. It's a nice little use section, not gonna lie. I've been eyeing up this beauty for a while. Oh, block inlays, regularly 5,200 on for 44. I assume there's a finish flaw. The old HH Strat. In-store special, McCarty 594. Okay, there was a mirror here in this empty rack when I was in here a couple days ago. I guess it must have sold. Then for your side-by-side -side comparison of the Charvels and the Jacksons. And we come on over, There's lots of signs, keep clean. Capos, accessories, handful of parts. Tubes, we have tubes, we have JJ's, electroharmonics and groove tubes, tuners, almost as many picks as I haul in from NAM, random guitar stands. Coming around the corner, here's our string section. Uh, we got to hear someone noodling in the background. Noise. Hopefully they don't play too well. Because if they play too well, I'll get nailed with copyright. Oh, now we're getting into drummer territory. Oh, yeah. God love them. They try. What's up, Travis? Hey, man, how are you doing today? Not too shabby. You decided you were doing a store tour. Oh, that's awesome. How are you making out so far? So far, so good. Nice. Well, you know that you can try anything you want. We sanitize the guitars when you're done. Get them cleaned up for you. I was pointing that out. The rack's at the end of the rows. You know, we're keeping things safe. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. I'll let you get back your gear, guys. Well, let's hope the microphone facing me pointed, picked all that up because Travis just said some awesome stuff. All right. You know what? Every drummer should have one of these. How else do you end your set without a gong? The only thing better is if you set it on fire, right? You got that, those flames going around there. All right. Ooh, check that out. That. I've never seen a symbol like that. Drummer friends are going, oh yeah, I've seen them all the time, but it's called the Spiral Stacker. Betcha, that sounds cool. A variety of drums, both electric and acoustic. Got some lighting going on, stage rigging. They really, oh, here's all your interfaces for all you folks that deal with IRs and cab sims and all that other BS. What? Now that's just cool. Rolling K synth. There's another one. We got studio monitors. So this would be your uh, recording area. Ooh, nice little dummy vocal booth type thing. Ah, I rarely make it over to this side of things. I see rack mounted stuff. So obviously they even keep rack mounted stuff in store. 
Nice. All right. Pro Audio. DJs and stuff too, I suppose. And I'm gonna talk loudly over the music so we don't get hit with copyright. And this is the rental area. Look at this, we're doing a store tour. And I always forget your name, good sir. Jonathan, this is Jonathan. He handles rentals and leasing and all that fun stuff. And as you can tell, they're very busy because they don't have a lot sitting there waiting to go out or come back in. So there we have it. Oh, just a random 412 Mesa cab because why not? All right. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, cables. Well, there you have it, folks. The Belleville, Ontario location of Long and McQuaid servicing uh, all of Canada and uh, internationally. Why not? We'll go with that. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to go shoot some demos. See ya.